Today we are going to learn about the closure property in whole numbers. First of all, let's learn about addition. If we add any two whole numbers, the result will also be a whole number. If we add two whole numbers, we will get a whole number sum bhi ek whole number. Hi For example, 5 plus 3 is 8. 5, 3 and 8 all are whole numbers. That means A plus B is equal to C where A, B and C all are whole numbers. That means we can say whole numbers are closed under addition. Addition may whole numbers close ho jate hai. Whole numbers ko add karne par result mein bhi hume whole number bhi milta hai. Now, is it true in subtraction also? Let's see. If we subtract 8 from 6, what will we get? Will it be a whole number? No. We cannot subtract 8 from 6. 8 means 6 subtract nahi ho sakta. So, that means, agar hum 6 mein se 8 subtract karne ki koshish karenge, to hume result mein whole number nahi milega. So, that means, the whole numbers are not closed in subtraction. So, closure property is not true for subtraction in whole numbers. But in multiplication, if we multiply any two whole numbers, we get another whole number in result. If we multiply two whole numbers, ko multiply karte hai, so, unka product bhi whole number ki hoga. Like if we multiply 6 and 8, we will get another whole number which is 48 in result. So, that means we can say whole numbers are closed under multiplication also. But is it true for division also? Kya division mein bhi ye baat sahi hoki? Let's check. 6 divided by 2. We can... Write it this way, which will be 2 1s are 2, 2 3s are 6, which will be equal to 3, which is another whole number. But if we want to divide 4 by 5, it will be written like this. Now these two numbers cannot be divided. 4 upon 5 is not a whole number. So, division is not closed here. So, we can say whole numbers are not closed under division. So, now what we have seen? Closure property is true for addition and multiplication. Closure property, addition and multiplication is true. Hai, but it is not true for subtraction and division.